December 4th, Daily Video Bible Reading from the Net Bible, Proverbs chapter 1 from the Old Testament. The Proverbs of Solomon, son of David, king of Israel. To learn wisdom and moral instruction and to discern wise counsel, to receive moral instruction and skillful living in righteousness, justice, and equity, to impart shrewdness to the morally naive and a discerning plan to the young person. Let the wise also hear and gain instruction and let the discerning inquire guidance to discern the meaning of a proverb and a parable, the sayings of the wise and their riddles. Fearing the Lord is the beginning of moral knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction. Listen, my child, to the instructions from your father, and do not forsake the teaching from your mother, for they will be like an elegant garland on your head and like pendants around your neck. My child, if sinners try to entice you, do not consent. If they say, Come with us, we will lie in wait to shed blood. We will ambush an innocent person capriciously. We will swallow them alive like Sheol, those full of vigor like those going down to the pit. We will seize all kinds of precious wealth. We will fill our house with plunder. Join with us. We will all share equally in what we steal. My child, do not go down their way. Withhold yourself from their path, for they are eager to inflict harm and they hasten to shed blood. Surely it is futile to spread a net in plain sight of any bird. But these men lie in wait for their own blood. They ambush their own lives. Such are the ways of all who gain profit unjustly. It takes away the life of those who obtain it. Wisdom calls out in the street. She shouts loudly in the plazas. At the head of the noisy street, she calls. In the entrances of the gates in the city, she utters her words. How long will you simpletons love naivete? How long will mockers delight in mockery and fools hate knowledge? If only you will respond to my rebuke, then I will pour out my thoughts to you and I will make my words known to you. However, because I called, but you refused to listen, because I stretched out my hand, but no one paid attention, because you neglected all my advice and did not comply with my rebuke, so I myself will laugh when disaster strikes you. I will mock when what you dread comes. When what you dread comes like a whirlwind and disaster strikes you like a devastating storm, when distressing trouble comes on you. Then they will call to me, but I will not answer. They will diligently seek me, but they will not find me. Because they hated moral knowledge and did not choose to fear the Lord. They did not comply with my advice. They spurned all my rebuke. Therefore, they will eat from the fruit of their way, and they will be stuffed full of their own counsel. For the waywardness of the simpletons will kill them, and the careless ease of fools will destroy them. But the one who listens to me will live in security and will be at ease from the dread of harm. God, one of the reasons that I love Proverbs is because it meets us wherever we are. If, if we are wise, it meets us there and asks us to be more teachable. If we aren't wise or are a simpleton, as some Bibles put it, then it also meets us there and allows us instruction on improving our life, getting closer and closer to that perfection. We know that the teachability of these Proverbs, whether we are wise or we the simpleton or everywhere in between, starts with our fear, our humbleness, our obedience to you. And God, you know that the, I've been working on that a lot, especially the last couple of years. And you've been incredibly patient with me. But today, God, I just pray for everyone who may not have heard these words before, who these words might be new to them. Maybe fear of the Lord might be new to them. Some of these proverbs might be new to them. They might be new to the, the concept of your amazing grace, including giving us instructions 
on having the life that you want for us, the best life possible. God, I just pray for all those hearts, that they be open to what you're saying in Proverbs, that the wisdom that you're teaching allows them to easily apply it to their lives. And as they grow in this knowledge that they come to know you, it's one of the most amazing things about the Bible is it just reveals you in your many facets and in your incredible glory through every single word and every single sentence and every single verse and every single chapter. We get to know who you truly are and be it becomes a clearer and clearer picture. So God, I pray for all people who may be listening to Proverbs for the first time or maybe the millionth time that your grace, that your amazing love just come and settle into their heart and show them what you want them to learn, to have the most amazing life, the best life possible, the life that you chose for us. And as for me, God, I just thank you for <laughs> continuing to have patience as I continue to learn how to completely humble myself in obedience to you, to turn over that control. I guess I should say that illusion of control that I have and just allow you to completely soak into my life, allow my life to reflect your glory, your patience, your grace and your mercy. Allow my actions of, of love and kindness and compassion to actually be directly yours coming through the new heart that you gave me. God, I thank you for allowing us opportunities to learn like you are in Proverbs. I pray all this in your son's name. Amen.